Alright guys, so before we actually get into today's video, I would like to uh, make a quick note that I'll actually make a full video dedicated to this, but I wanted you guys to at least get a little bit of a rundown beforehand. I am now introducing channel memberships, so if you guys would actually like to support the channel that much more, you're more than happy to go into and uh, subscribe to any of the four tiers that I got on there, one of which is more of an expensive option, and I will explain more uh, about the whole system in general in my next video, which will technically just be a channel update video, but there are, I believe, four tiers. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've set it up, but there are, I believe, four tiers. The starting one, which is just 99 cents. You guys get a little bit of extra stuff when it comes to uh, live streams, and as you guys will be able to look up at the tiers, you'll get to see what you all get to include. So with that already being said, let's transfer right into the regular part of the video. Well, let's just check out these contracts. They're not too shabby. I might actually take on the 38 one just because that's right next to one of my fields. But with that, top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is the Rental Man Buck. Welcome to the Hay Series. So with this thing, as it states, I'm literally going to try to do as much as I can to work with hay and cattle. Uh, basically, I believe just beef, maybe dairy. I haven't decided on that part yet. <clears throat> but... We have a beautiful setup here on Griffin, Indiana, for people wondering about the map. I am in the, uh, well, obviously looking at that, I'm in the top left side corner up here. I love this little setup. So we got two sheds, uh, the AGI, how we say, shed from that pack, and then this two-bay shed, which you guys can recognize from the old school series, which can be found in the top right-hand corner of the screen as well as a chicken coop. I'm going to have chickens. I have chickens. I have 13 chickens, two of which are good enough to start laying eggs, 10 that are basically b newborns, and then one rooster. So we got to go pick up some chicken feed, and with that, I'm going to take the charger. The only thing that I've noticed that is a problem is I put in a like real slippage as well as weight distribution mod. And as nice as it is, this thing now can basically do burnouts and get stuck just by trying to drive forward. So we'll take the RT Charger, which as you can see the other two vehicles are a 3500 Dually Ram and a C10 4x4 350 Chevy. So we will take the... <clears throat> We will take the charger. If you guys do notice a little difference in my voice, I am currently getting over a little cold, so uh, I might sound a little bit different, but yeah. I'll kind of show you what I mean by like a get on it. So you guys know how this charger works. This is like half throttle and I'm spinning, so I gotta be very, very careful with this. So I'll give you guys a bit more of a farm tour here in a little bit. Uh, the only thing I gotta do right now is I gotta go, like I said, pick up some chicken feed because those guys are already behind. I'll head up to the cattle part of this farm here in a little bit too because uh, then we can showcase that. There are currently no cattle up there. I'm not gonna do that until I can start getting some bales. So we're heading to Johnson's Farmer's Market to pick up some uh, chicken feed here. And what I'm also gonna need to do is start looking at some of those contracts because like I was saying we are going to be doing a lot of hay on this series now I don't know whether or not I will do this as a very very like regular series but it's possible that this one has as much potential and enthusiasm as the homeowner series so one feature you guys might not have known about the charger is that the trunk is actually functional this was on the car. If you guys want to go download this car right now, go to Mod Network or any site that has had the 2015 Chargers released, and you can actually put these seed bags in the trunk of the car. I wanted to try this out, and I found out that it actually works. So as you guys can see in the thumbnail, you can actually load seed bags. So we are going to... Oh, I forgot. I also have, like, transmission with clutch working now, so I got to be careful. We are going to head back to the house, and we will catch you guys in a minute, and we're going to get on to some bailing. So we're going to need a lot more grain, that is apparent, but that'll at least 
keep these guys for a little bit until I can get a bit more chicken feed from town. But if that's the case, then what I'm going to do is take the ram with the gooseneck and I'll go pick up a few pallets. But we're going to put the charger back and just to now finally start to kick off and get into the main portion. Yeah, drifted into the garage. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to actually use this car now because of how, like, uncontrollable it is. Okay. So we're just going to close that, but we'll get to our equipment. So now, what are we running? I'm glad you asked. So in the first shed, we have, surprise, surprise, deer, except for one. It's an Oliver. Oliver HG. I uh, was going to use this to do the tether rake once I windrowed all the stuff. Obviously, we've got the deer uh, zero turn. We got a 6170M as our main bale tractor as well as our main bale loading tractor. So this will be phenomenal. I'm going to use that to jeez them out on this farm. And then a 6405 with a brush hog. This will also be used to tow bales around the farm from time to time. Uh, but pr primarily, that's just going to be a bush hog mower tractor. We also have a, uh, of course, the Honda Rancher, a Deer Gator, which this will be used, these two will be used back and forth between farms. I might actually leave this one or one of these two up at the cattle farm. And then we have an S76 Bobcat. I love this thing. This is actually a public mod. I don't remember where, but this is phenomenal. The only thing that is just kind of wrong with it is the person doesn't show. And that's that's literally it. Other than that, the Bobcat is beautiful. So we got a, a tooth bucket here as well as a bale spike for the Bobcat once baling comes around. And we'll be able to use that to clean up the shop. So with that, we will head over to the main storage, which this is technically main storage, but that's like pampered storage. This is like cold storage main. As for balers, we have the 605N from Vermeer. The New Holland 258 Rake, a Heston 8450, the Frontier WR 5417, and then just for hex and giggles, the Outback Camper. And now this is this is the 82 Studios trailer. The only thing I modified was the wheels and the brand on the thing. Other than that, it is an Iron Bull 30 foot uh, single axle. Those are 8,000 pound axles, so a 16,000 pound trailer. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So the quick hop, skip, and a jump up the road. Here is the cattle farm. I actually already have at least uh, got the gates open. So like I said, there's no cattle in here right now. This is the Elk Mountain, uh, the Elk Mountain Ranch. So it's like, a, I think 200 to 350 head of cattle. But this is the cold storage Quonset. In here, we have everything that's gonna be used for technically out here, but like primarily out here. Uh, some of this stuff, like the tractors might move around a little bit, but we got like a little cleanup squeegee pusher thingy a bale shredder, the water tank, which I'll probably get that filled up here once we actually get some cattle. I don't know how much I'm actually going to use this loading wagon, but loading wagon, uh, bale shredders, the mix, basically mixing the mixing wagon, silage bale wrapper, and then a grinder, as well as an Oliver 1755 and a Deer 4430. So nice little setup, nothing too fancy, but also nothing too crazy. And uh, with a quick, one thing I like about the wheel mod here is that we can actually, you know, get the thing to whip. So we'll just power slide our way out of here and get on our way. We will turn that off. And what I don't know, but I think I'm going to do is I'll probably go up here and cut 37. I'll take the contract for 38 and they only want grass bales. So I'm going to have to wrap those for silage. I think we'll take the contract to 38 and we'll cut 37 afterwards. So we're going to run to this shed, get the Heston out, and we'll start by taking him up there to go do that. So we just started cutting field 38 here. I think I'll cut hers first before I start cutting into mine. But what I'm going to do is uh, this entire series, I'm not going to try and buy anything on there. Like I have the 147,000, that's all I get. Whatever I buy comes out of those funds. I believe I've already paid off my bank to the loan, but um, I obviously don't have a harvester to harvest anything of the wheat that I'm going to need for straw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and accept some harvesting contracts and basically by uh, doing that, I have the mod in that where I can collect straw after I do those. 
so I can pick up my straw bales. And I'll just kind of like stack them up. So I'm going to try and collect by making all of the bales that I need for this operation. But we'll see how long it's going to last because I also have the mod in for um, like a ton of fuel consumption. I have like two fuel consumption mods in here. And I've only been driving this thing for like 10 minutes and I'm already seeing a divot in the fuel gauge. So this should be pretty interesting. We'll run this back to the farm and pick up the... Uh, deer and go get the Vermeer Since this should be probably maybe three to four bales and then we can go and grab one of our bale trailers to the 6M here. I like that sound. So this is pretty straightforward. All I'm gonna be doing is getting grass out of this. Cause we're gonna have to get the rest of it for silage. Let's drop our pickup, get that turned on. And we are going to start getting those grass bales. to the uh, Quonset Quick and grab my mixer wagon and basically shred up a bale, that little bale right there, and then come back up here and re-pick up that grass and then dump this bale and then change the bale size to see if I can't make it be one regular sized bale. I think that's what I'm going to have to try and do if I want to get every single bale out of here besides maybe cutting my own grass over there. So we're going to try and figure this out quick. We'll be right back. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So shortly after picking up the mixing wagon, I realized, hey, you can't put grass bales in the mixing wagon. I only put hay bales in the mixing wagon. So to make this work, I'm just going to quickly run over to my field and pull enough grass out of my field to make that last bale so I don't have grass sitting in there left over that of course they're going to dock me on because it's like you only have 98% of the grass from that field in there you have to go get the rest so to save my time I'm going to just cut into my grass field sound good? good glad we had this talk so what we're gonna do is this bucket actually has the spike thing if you guys haven't seen this yet this is the mud hub bucket but we're gonna use these to pick up the bales which is gonna be fantastic because why not? 
Uh, we also gotta get this thing to unload since we already did one on there. I can just see the front tires would just be squishing on that. Um, gotta manually unload that. Okay. Oh, I stupidly put this the wrong direction. I'm supposed to load it from the other side. Okay. There she goes. Let's go get the next one. That's all of them. I don't know why it's not letting me load up that one. Uh, but we'll take these four down and we're going to see what the contract allows us to do if it'll be good enough. So we're going to run back to the farm quick and grab our bale trailer. There's not too many bales out here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to use this uh, my iron bull trailer because of the fact that I can easily put four of these bigger bales on there. And if not, then I can just stack the little guy on the end. But we will get this left. Oh. Dang, this thing's got a sticky clutch. We're going to use this quick, and we will load up our bales onto that trailer and take them to where they need to go, and we'll see if we can't get our money. And this is the last bale. We will throw this little guy here on the end. Let's throw this, uh, let's run this little thing into town, shall we? So all we should have to do is take these bales to, uh, the livestock place, and then the contract should be complete. Now, this is not a very big contract. I think this is only, like, what, $3,800? But that'll be enough to at least help me with purchase of seed and feed for anything that I might need it for. Good thing the trailer brakes are working, because otherwise I would be having a panic attack right about now. Should be good. Swing a little bit wide. Watch for the dovetail. And that should be our destination right there. We're actually just going to back this in if it lets us. Do not hit that. Do not hit that. All right. Sweet. Please tell me this is all it needed. Yay! So our contract has been completed. I just want to make sure it has been. Nice. We got thirty. Well, we got twenty-eight hundred dollars. Oh shoot! So we got a little bit of chunk change off of that. That's not. Uh, that's pretty good. So we're gonna head back to the farm, and we will pretty much get ready to start getting ready for our fields, which would be next video. So. If you guys do like this series, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. If you guys didn't already hear what I did in the beginning of the video about uh, the channel memberships, like I said, you guys are more than willing to opt into that if you wish, but trust me, it's not anything required. You guys know how I am. 
All I just gave you guys is the option if you guys wanted to support the channel even more. But with that, be sure to also check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it. And I shall see you guys on the next one. This is the Rental Man Out. Peace.